Welcome to the ITU studio at the World Telecommunication Development Conference, WTDC, here in Kigali, Rwanda, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Nicola Belomo, who is the Ambassador of the European Union in Rwanda. Uh, Ambassador, welcome to the studio. Thank you. I'd like to start off by asking you about the European Commission and what is the European Commission's, and especially the Directorate General of the International Partnerships, Intra, interest in joining here at the WTDC here in Kigali, and what is your message with regards to Partner to Connect, which is what has been kicking this WTDC off? Well, connectivity has been at the forefront of the European uh, external uh, action since many years, and since the adoption uh, of our Global Gateway strategy, we bring it to the next level. And our Global Gateway is the new connectivity strategy of the European Union to boost smart, uh, clean uh, and safe uh, links, in particular in the digital energy and transport sector. Uh, European Union and European Commission is the largest uh, supporter of the ITU, and uh, including the ITU-D, which deals with development. And as European Union, we strongly support and advocate for a um, uh, rules-based multilateralism and multi-stakeholder approach. And uh, we do uh, consider uh, this conference as a unique opportunity to foster new partnerships, uh, new alliances, and to uh, generate uh, an exchange on the importance and uh, raise awareness on the importance of the uh, sustainable uh, digitalization. And uh, you're very much in supporting the, the Partner to Connect initiative here? Indeed. Uh, as the largest uh, development assistance provider in the world, the European Union and the European Commission is uh, strongly supporting initiatives that aims at coordinating the, uh, the partners and generating the appropriate level of understanding about the uh, challenges uh, and the opportunities in the, in the, in the digital field. And what's your, your vision for the, the future of the International Telecommunication Union, ITU? Well, ITU has built a very strong reputation uh, in terms of uh, being a both, uh, I would say, a service provider, a center of excellence at technical level, but also a reliable partner for uh, development partners. Um, we do think and we advocate for an ITU very much focused on its mandate, and we see as a, uh, you know, the immediate priority to bridge the digital divide, to connect the unconnected. So there's some three billion people that are still, uh, uh, let's say, isolated from the global, uh, um, let's say, uh, telecommunication and uh, IT village. Uh, at the same time, as long as we appreciate the impact that technology can have on the quality and the standards of life of the people, we also say that can be misused and can even arm it, uh, the, the people. So it's very important that ITU uh, plays this role, especially in its uh, uh, standard setting mandate, to really ensure that these uh, standards are uh, safe and are uh, protecting the people and aligned with the uh, human rights and fundamental freedoms. Uh, last but not least, we also strongly uh, advocate for an ITU, which is really, uh, as I mentioned before, part of a multi-stakeholder uh, equation. So an ITU is center of gravity, but very much uh, uh, you know, working with the private sector, which let's say brings much, much of the innovation and can bring also a lot of expertise, but also with other non-state actors, including the civil society, in particular youth organizations and the academia. Ambassador Nicola, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.